You might have found her in the yellow pages under blondes. Explosive type. She looked a little like Zsa Zsa Gabor. You couldn't be sure. But you could tell she had an eye out for value. I figured she was about to commit mercury in the first degree. She was. She took off like a nervous pistol shot. I was right behind her. My name is Mercury. I'm a private chauffeur. Obviously, she was a girl with extremely good taste. She might have stolen just any car. It was a wild ride, 345 horses playing a cha-cha-cha on eight cylinders. Not a scratch. Mercury super enamel finishes are tough as they come. I needed a roadblock in a hurry. I called headquarters. Right, Chief. She's heading north. Mercury convertible, a pink one. Just matches her complexion. Coming into town, she slowed down for sponsor identification. Passing a Mercury showroom, she cast a longing glance at the wagon parked at the curb. Probably figured she'd come back for that one tomorrow. Not if I could help it. You can't beat Mercury's self-adjusting brakes. Later, I asked her why she did it. Well, you see, my dear friend, the Prince of Fontainebleau, never told me that in America you can buy a Mercury. He told me, Jerry, it's such a beautiful car, and it's a steal. I stole one. That about wrapped up the case. Zsa Zsa was almost right. At today's prices, Mercury's are a steal. Go steal a look at one this week. The 1959 Mercury. The best built car in America. He only knew that I was to meet him at the Pontiac showroom. He would reveal himself by kicking a tire of a wide track Pontiac for 1960. get a kick out of Pontiac's wide track wheels? Yes, Pontiac has the widest stance of any car on the road. Then you are? Yes. This Pontiac is very beautiful, no? They always are. Get in the car. Now listen carefully. He will be driving a white Bonneville Pontiac, exactly like this one. Careful. Darling, don't you love this interior? Your name and address? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Joe Smith, 21 Bellamstrass. Uh, uh, street, Williams. Thanks. You know, the only way to really appreciate the new Pontiac is to drive it. We know how beautifully a Pontiac rides. We have one on order. Good, my pleasure. That was close. Do you know your instructions? I will be a gas station attendant. When the car stops, I will place the bomb in the engine. One bump and... There can be no sleep-ups. The next day, I watched an endless line of 1960 Pontiacs go by. And then he drove up in his smartly styled Bonneville convertible with bucket seats. As I serviced the car and placed the bomb, I grew uneasy. Why should a man like this be destroyed? A man whose taste in automobiles is so impeccable. As he drove off, I admired again the beautiful lines of the 1960 Pontiac. Anyone who owns a Pontiac can't be all bad. I couldn't go through with it. 
My only hope was to cut him short at the shortcut. The poor devil had one thing in his favor. The great stability and handling ease of the 1960 Pontiac. If it weren't for the level sureness of the wide track wheels on curves and the soft ride of Pontiac's supple suspension, the bomb would certainly explode. Beautiful Pontiac. It doesn't matter. I was testing you. I'm on our side. You mean you're one of us? Folks, it doesn't take espionage to find out the leader in its field is the 1960 Pontiac.